can you speak yes sir about, sir fine okay <clears throat> azure data engineering ad so cloud it is majorly utilized cloud it is majorly utilized right yes one second majorly utilized for storing analyzing storing analyzing and delivering data and delivering data in various forms okay so on premises and uh, cloud premises okay, what is the advantage of this uh, cloud over this on premises so generally if i talk about on premises on premises right yes on premises we need to set up we need to set up our own hardware infrastructure our own hardware infrastructure we need to set up our own hardware infrastructure on top of that on top of that os installation os installation next purchasing database license on top of that os installation purchasing database rights next is like installation installation of database server designing database objects we need to set up our own hardware infrastructure on top of that OS installation purchasing database license installation of database server and uh, designing uh, database objects. So, to maintain all this, uh, we require separate teams. We require separate teams. Hardware team, operating system team, networking team, security team. database administrators database administrators so hardware team operating system team networking team security team right database administrators but here everything in the cloud right cloud we need no need to maintain all this we need to maintain no need to maintain any infrastructure no need of any licenses here everything in the cloud environment everything in the cloud environment right so data engineers data engineers right yes with the help of uh, cloud services with the help of cloud services 
work on the data and make it structured and useful. Make it structured and useful. Data engineers with the help of cloud services, with the help of cloud services work on the data and make it structured and useful. Data engineers, data engineers responsible, responsible, right? For smooth data flow, for smooth data flow. From source to destination. Yes. So data engineers responsible for smooth data flow from source to the destination. Data engineers, they are responsible. Data engineers, right? Yes. Data engineers, data engineering involves a data engineer responsible for preparing data. They're preparing data, cleansing data or filtering data. Transforming data, transforming data, right, and processing data. Okay, preparing data, cleansing data, transforming data, and processing data. More than, more than eighty percent. More than eighty percent. More than 80% of data analysis work is done. Data engineers. More than 80% of data analysis work is done by data engineers. Okay, most of them ask, right? Difference between data scientist, data analyst, data engineer. Just answer. Yeah. Data scientist. Difference between data scientist, data analyst. Strategizes for the future. Strategizes for the future, right? And data analyst summarizes the past. So data scientist analyze analyze the data. Identify the patterns. Identify the patterns, recommendations for the future. Recommendations for the future. Data analyst summarizes the past. Analyze the data. He is going to analyze the data right there. Analyze the data. Summarizes the data of the past. Summarize the data of the past. Visualizing the data.
Okay. So this uh, data scientist, data analyst, and data engineer. So I was saying like nearly 80% of the, more than 80% of the data analysis work is done by data engineers. Data engineering involves data engineering involves what are the sources of the data? What are the sources of the data? What is the format of the data? What is the format of the data? How to transform the data? And uh, what is the destination? What is the destination of the data, right? Yes, so I'm saying more than 80% of the data analysis is done by data engineers. Hmm. So why Azure Data Engineer? Why Azure Data Engineer? Why Azure Data Engineering demand? Today, today, Azure Data Engineering is in big demand, right? Why Azure Data Engineering demand there? Mm. It occurs. An organization, we have got an organization wants to increase. Uh, and what are the main, uh, what are the roles of this means? An organization wants to increase the business revenue by utilizing the customer behavioral data on its website. The organization uses its Azure for its operation. So it hires Azure data engineer and also a data scientist. So this organization is going to hire two people. First one, Azure data engineer, Azure data engineer, and secondly one, data scientist. Secondly, it's going to have data scientist. This Azure Data Engineer creates a data warehouse for the organization. A data warehouse is the is the storage of structured data and it's a queryable data. It contains data from various resources such as the new the user log clicks, existing customers data. Data engineer is responsible in making the data structured. It structures this data, stores it, and monitors it in data warehouse. Secondly, the data engineer constantly is going to communicate with the data scientist to understand the data requirement. He also communicates with the business team to know the business requirements of the organization. So in this way, he keeps in mind the business needs while dealing with the data in hand, right? The data scientist analyzes the later data scientist is going to analyze the processed data, creates insights, creates the insights from the processed data. And the business team requires a dashboard tool for visualizing of this key insights. It helps in the team to read and uh, to read and understand the data insights easily. Data engineer constantly going to process, analyze, and monitor the data. He creates a data pipeline through which data is integrated with all the crucial stages of the data flow. He also makes sure data engineer also makes sure that the pipeline is always efficient and Secure. So, what is the main role of data engineer here? He is going to process, analyze, and monitoring the data. So, this is the basic. This is the what is that primary role of a Azure data engineer? But we have got lot of roles of Azure data. Engineer. Role of Azure data engineer, right? A role of 
Azure Data Engineer. Role of Azure Data Engineer, right? First thing. Entire data flow architecture design. Designing entire data flow architecture. Entire data flow architecture. Creating data warehouse. Secondly, creating a data warehouse. For storage of analytical data. For storage of analytical data. And thirdly, ETL is going to perform ETL extract. It is ETL at extract, transform, and load. Is going to perform extract, transform, and load. Extract, transform, and load. See, this ETL is one of the key tasks of the Azure Data Engineer. They need to extract data from multiple resources. They are going to transform it into structured data, then load the data into company's storage service for the further business evaluations by the data scientists. And also next is like data monitoring, data monitoring. Data engineers make sure that ETL is performed in a proper way. The data is available anywhere and everywhere it is needed. And also this data security, data security, right? Yes. Data security. Ensuring the data security is also a major responsibility of Azure Data Engineers. The data needs to be secure at each step of the process without any leaks. Without any data leaks or data exposures, right? Next, collaboration and communication, right? Collaboration, right? Collaboration and communication. Collaboration and communication. They have to constantly communicate with the business team to check if the team needs the data insights. They are also going to collaborate with data scientists. Also necessary is the delivery, delivering the data as per the requirement. The analytics. Data engineers analyze the data and transform it into a structured and useful format. They need to have strong and analytical and mathematical skills to perform this analysis. And also automation. They have to automate certain process which requires minimal human intervention, right? Such as extraction of data. So these are the main roles of Azure Data Engineer. Designing entire data flow architecture, creating data warehouse for storage of analytical data, Extraction and transformation and loading, data monitoring, data security and collaboration and communication with the business teams and with the data scientists having the knowledge of analytics. Certain things have to be get automated, automation, right? So that these are the roles of Azure Data Engineer, right? Yes. Azure Data Engineering Pro, Data Engineering Products, Azure Data Engineering Products, right? Like uh, Azure Services or other Azure Data Engineering Products are services. Azure SQL, Azure SQL. Secondly, Azure Data Lake. Azure Data Lake, Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Data Factory,
Azure Databricks. Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Streaming. Azure Streaming, right? Yes. Azure Key Vault. Right. Azure Key Vault. Azure SQL, Azure Data Lake, Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks. Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Streaming, and Azure Key Vault. Yes. Azure SQL, right? Absorb this Azure SQL. It is a cloud RDBMS. It's a cloud RDBMS database. It's a cloud RDBMS database, right? Of Microsoft in Azure. So just I was discussing about this Azure SQL. It is a cloud RDBMS database of Microsoft in Azure. It is for OLTP operations. It is for OLTP operations. OLTP captures. OLTP captures end user transactions. OLTP captures end user transactions. It captures end user transactions. It is not for data warehouse. It is not for data warehouse. Azure Data Lake. Second is like Azure Data Lake. It is a distributed file system. Distributed file system. With unlimited data storage with unlimited data storage in cloud, with unlimited data storage in cloud. HDFS, if you have got knowledge on HDFS, it is for on-premises. Azure Data Lake is for cloud DFS. I can see Azure Data Lake, it is a repository of large varieties of structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data, right? It is a large varieties of structured, unstructured, and semi-structured data. <clears throat> so it is a kind of file system with unlimited data storage in the cloud and Azure Data Factory. What is it? Azure Data Factory. Simply saying, right, it is a cloud ETL. It is a cloud-based ETL, it is a cloud ETL. Cloud ETL of Microsoft. Raw data coming from one side, process data coming from other side, they have been transformed as per the destination. So this ADF firm permits us to combine data from multiple sources, reformat it into analytical models, save these models for querying, visualizing, and reporting. ADF is going to create a data flows, workflows for data movement and transformations. We've got the concept of data flows for data movement and transformations. It's going to extract data that OLDP transactions is going to extract it into this uh, warehouse systems. It acts as a mediator between this OLTP systems and the uh, warehouse systems. That's why we call it as a data integration service. ADF acts as a data integration service. Okay. 
during the regulation periods. And uh, if we talk about this uh, Azul debt scale, Azul data bricks, Azul data bricks. It is an Apache Spark based. It is an Apache Spark based. It is an Apache Spark based data analytics. Data analytics. Data analytics platform, right? At the Microsoft, for the Azure Microsoft. Azure Microsoft right, Cloud Services, but it brings together the data engineering, data science, and the business together. Azure Synapse. So more on detail, we'll be discussing about all these things. Azure Synapse. Azure Synapse is a cloud or DBMS. It's a cloud or DBMS. The cloud or DBMS for data warehouse for data warehouse for analytics for batch processing for parallel processing. You say previously. Azure SQL is not for data warehouse, but Azure Synapse, the cloud or DBMS, that's for data warehouse and for batch processing and for parallel processing. Azure Streaming Analytics. It is a real time analytics or real time analytics and event processing and event processing, event processing engine, event processing engine for analyzing. For analyzing and processing, for analyzing and processing high volumes of high volumes of streaming data, high volumes of streaming data from multiple sources. From multiple sources simultaneously. Simultaneously. Processing high volumes of streaming data from multiple from multiple sources from multiple sources simultaneously. High volumes of streaming data. Streaming data means data which keeps on generating data which keeps on incrementing. Events keeps on generating, keeps on generating, right? Zero cost DB. Azure cloud based. Azure cloud based. No SQL. No SQL database. No SQL.
yes sorry azure cosmos db azure cloud cloud based no sql database is azure cloud based no sql database no sql databases no sql databases right schema less behavior means for sql databases from first record to last record the same number of same number of columns data types has to be maintained but for this no sql no, no sql database schema less behavior random access just like mongodb right just uh, it's in it's called cosmos db is also similar to this mongodb but it is cloud based azure cosmos db next uh, key vault azure key vault azure key vault secure key management secure key management to protect data in the cloud we protect the Secure key management to protect the data in the cloud. Screen for RDBM. And Azure Data Lake, Azure Data Factory is a cloud ETL, data brick text platform, right? Azure Synapse. RDBM. Hello. Okay. Azure Synapse, right? It's a cloud RDBMS for data warehouse, for analytics, for batch processing, for parallel processing, and the Azure streaming analytics. It's a real-time analytics. 
event processing in general, right? For analyzing and processing high volume of streaming data from multiple sources simultaneously. Azure Cosmos DB, right? Azure cloud based NoSQL database, first, right? Yes, this is. And we have got blob storage for storing any type of, any type of data, any size of data, storing massive amount of uh, unstructured and binary data, right? Yes. And uh, I've observed this Azure data engineering, job market of Azure data engineering, right? Job market. job market of Azure Data Engineering. Okay. According to the Microsoft, right, every year, like lakhs of companies are registering themselves on Azure. More than 95% of the Fortune 500 companies are utilizing Azure cloud services. This is in turn increasing the number of job opportunities, right, for Azure Data Engineers constantly. Major The major companies are beginning to trust and adopt Azure organizing organizations are shifting to azure or already are utilizing it regularly in need of professionals who can work with azure and handle this huge or big data according to the pay scales even azure data engineers has got the highest average salary as closely as the data scientist so if it's the two highest paying jobs the two highest paying jobs right like a data engineer and data scientist and pursuing a data engineer career right uh, at, at current point of time right so it has got great demand data engineers jobs are emerging as the top ranking around the world and even uh, companies such as facebook intel microsoft amazon are interested in hiring data engineers with a great salary packages even tech joints including google apple cognizant walmart all others they're offering high paying jobs for data engineers just you can check it right even in this just check in the google right in the chrome data engineering right azure data engineering jobs right Azure Data Engineering Jobs, right? Yes, we can check it here. Lags, thousands of jobs, right? See, 14, like, uh, Azure Data Engineering Jobs. See here, apply to 11,631 Azure Data Engineering Jobs. A lot of jobs for Azure Data Engineering, right? Not only Azure Data Engineering, right? Azure Data Factory also. Azure Data Factory, just one second. People who want not only like Data Engineer, Azure Data Factory, Data Factory Jobs. Check this Data Factory Jobs. Azure Data Factory, like that. Apply to 14,714 Azure Data Factory jobs. And what I'm going to discuss as part of this course, right? Yes. Check with this. Check with this. So, mainly Azure Data Factory, ADF. Overview of all the Azure resources, ADF, Data Bricks, Blob. SQL key world Azure Synapse Cosmos TV and streaming. Azure Data Factory. What is Azure Data Factory? Azure Data Factory architecture, Azure Data Factory portal, top level concepts, pipelines, activities, link service, triggers, pipeline, creating pipeline, organizing pipeline, debugging pipeline, publishing pipeline, pipeline parameters, link service. What is link service? Getting link service for blob storage, for SQL database, SQL server, data lake. Yes, data sets, what is data sets, creating data sets for Avro files, entry files, CSV files, Excel files, JSON files, ORC files, Parquet files, XML, blob, 
data lakes, right? Activities, weight, activate, variables, copy data, activity, copy files, copy, and data bricks notebook, lookup, stored procedure, give metadata, delete, exit pipeline, validation, filtrations, condition, filter, conditions, switch until, right? Triggers, type scheduling, a trigger, timing windows, storage events, integration runtime, self hosted, and uh, one second, one second. Hi, Vijay Sundar. I am Pauni. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. just give me a second. No. Yeah, just one second. And let me just demonstrate about this code structure. Integration runtime, credentials, marriage. Manage private endpoints, monitoring ADF jobs, alerts, data flows, mapping data flow, data flow debug, transformations, filter transformations, aggregation, joint transfer, conditional split transformations, union, lookup, flatten, group by, unpivot, pivot, filter, alter row, asset value. Okay, and ADF exercises, nearly 50 exercises I'm going to discuss as part of this ADF. So different uh, like practical exercises I'm going to discuss as during this and uh, coming to this data bricks introduction before I go before I go with Azure data bricks I'll be giving knowledge on this the prerequisites I'm going to give that uh, knowledge on the prerequisites like uh, big data Hadoop spark and this cloud environment and this Azure right introduction to Azure data bricks getting the data bricks workspace adding users and groups to the workspace creating a cluster getting started with notebooks job azure databricks creating and conforming configuring clusters managing clusters displaying clusters starting a cluster terminating a cluster deleting a cluster cluster information cluster locks cluster access control types of cluster all purpose job cluster databricks pools databricks without pools databricks with pools cluster mode standard high concurrency databricks utilities data utility file system utility job utility library utility notebook utility Secrets, widgets, limitations of utilities, Databricks integration with blob storage, Azure Data Lake, Azure SQL database, Synapse Snowflake, handling multi -form, multi file formats, CSV, JSON, Parquet, Excel, XML, ORC, and Avro. Databricks batch processing, historical data load, incremental data load, date, date transformations, aggregations, joints, window functions, union operations. All this I'm going to discuss uh, using PySpark, Spark with Python implementation. Streaming API, what is streaming process streaming using PySpark API, handling bad reports, Databricks Lake House, Delta Lake, features of Delta Lake, how to create Delta Lake, merging statements, SCD type one, type two, workflows in Databricks, introduction to workflows, scheduling this Databricks jobs, monitoring Databricks jobs, Azure Synapse, overview of pools using Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure Storage Account integration with Azure Synapse, Azure Synapse triggers Azure SQL database integration with Azure Synapse, incremental load, logging and notifications, deep drive into copy activity, data flow introductions, spark pool introduction in Azure Synapse. So these things, right? Apart from these three, ADF, Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, and Azure Synapse, I'm going to give you the knowledge on this. Azure Data Lake, Azure SQL, Azure Cosmos DB, right? Yes, these things. Fine. So as part of this course, right, you will be getting uh, the video of each and every session. Even if you miss any session, right, you will be getting the video of it uh, the day itself. Every day, every day session video you are going to get, and the soft copy of this uh, soft cop soft copy of the notes you will be going to get, and the WhatsApp group will be created for technical discussions. If you have got any errors or anything, you can take snap of it, and you can post in the WhatsApp and uh, assignments and tasks to work with and uh, previously asked interview questions, right? ADF and the, the course structure, it's for three months, around three months, three to, it takes three months, right? Which mostly covers Azure Data Factory, Databricks, Synapse. So the prerequisites, right? Some basics of this uh, basic Python, especially for ADF, uh, Azure Data Factory is a zero coding ETL. Zero coding is required, nothing, no prerequisites for ADF, but for Databricks, 
you go for Azure Databricks, you need to have some knowledge on this basic Python. Anyhow, I'll be just uh, briefing you with the syntaxes, right, in some one or two sessions. And uh, basic SQL and basic Python is enough. Huh? Any other query? Someone was asking query, Pavani, right? Yeah, hi. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, prerequisite I would like to know to learn ADE. So, any coding knowledge should be there or what? Uh, Python yeah, actually, is yeah, in ADF, there is no kind of coding, everything drag and drop, just like Informatica, how you used to do drag and drop. Here also everything drag and drop. There is no prerequisites, but coming to this Azure Databricks, so mm -hmm. with PySpark, right? Okay. So Spark with Python implementation, like Python, that too, basic Python is enough. Python mm -hmm. basics is enough. Mm -hmm. uh, just I'll be briefing you once we go with the practicals of Databricks, I'll be just... Uh, Briefing you about this Python syntaxes. They are not as complex as other programming. They look very simple and easy to understand. And uh, basic SQL. Okay, I have zero. I have zero knowledge in Python, so that's why I'm asking. Okay. And so by the, by the time a data brick starts, right? It takes uh, nearly like more than one one and a half month. It takes right. By the time, uh, if first I'll go with ADF, right? By the time Databricks is going to start. So, Databricks, before you Databricks start, you can just uh, update with the basic Python. Means uh, uh, the course fee is, uh, the course fee is 12,000 of for data engineering, right? Azure data engineering. Uh, even if anyone who wants with Python, means Python core and Python advanced, everything it will be briefed. So for that, uh, separate like uh, fifteen thousand is the course fee for that. With Python, you want it is fifteen thousand. Without Python, if you already got knowledge, if you don't, means Python will be taken separately from Monday to Friday. I got some Python sessions going on right for forty-five to fifty hours of Python course. They will be taken separately. Any of my Python batch, either in the morning or evening, you can attend for that. If it, those who doesn't have knowledge on that. Fine. By means uh, for ADF, first I'll be starting with ADF. There is no Python involved for that. By the time data break starts, you need to at least uh, you should have some basic knowledge of this Python, right? And Python is not a complex uh, programming. It looks like normal English statements. Yes. Any other queries, right? Yes. Basics of Python is required. That's it, right? As you said. Yeah, basics of Python. Either if you want, you can update, right? Okay. By the time Databricks is going to start. And uh, one more question, like, uh, is this the whatever the post content uh, given uh, you are showing, like, you, can we like track the uh, uh, um, like certification? Yes, yes, compulsory. Right. In brief, in depth, you can see the course content, how deep, how brief we are going in into it, right? Or each and everything with many working examples. I am going to discuss. Certification also will be helpful, right? Whatever. So, uh, yes, you can crack it, right? Okay. So, only in ADF, I'm going to discuss 50 practical ex exercises. Again, Databricks also a lot of things. Uh, most of them, if you so most of these uh, training, if you go to the training uh, sites, right? So, they, I'm, I'm going to cover uh, PySpark also in this Spark with Python implementation, right? Including PySpark. But if you see most of them, they say Databricks. But uh, they won't involve PySpark in this with PySpark. PySpark also has got great demand in today's market. So I'm also going to cover along with this. Right. Yeah, we don't know PySpark. That's actually yeah, here it is included in Puzo. So yes, yes, I've including included with it. Right. So yes, sir. so from tomorrow we are going to uh, start with these things, right? Yes. Uh, so everyone, see you can see in the chart, right? Just you can observe in the chart, the payment details, the course details, course content is kept. The payment details are kept or anything related to this. Uh, okay. Uh, they have provided the contact details, uh, the online team, the online team, Durgasoft online team, right? Their contact details are provided. You can check with them. So you are supposed to get enrolled. Uh, tomorrow the link will be changing, right? Link is going to change from tomorrow. We are going to start with the things. So you can check with that payment details. And most of them, even though after enrolling, 
So don't forget to share the screenshot of your payment to that mail ID that is provided. Right? They have given some mail ID. Can you check with it? Then you need to send the screenshot of your payment. Then only you will be getting the link. Right? So tomorrow the link is going to be changed. You will be getting a new link. That means you will be getting the new link once you're done with the enrollment process. So everything, everything from the ground level to the advanced level, everything I'll be briefing you. So everything from the people with zero knowledge about these things, right? From zero to this high end level. The ground level to the advanced level, everything, each and everything I'll be discussing. So before going with the Azure Databricks, I already said I'll be giving knowledge on this big data, the basics of this big data, Hadoop, Spark, the what are the prerequisites required for the data which I'm going to discuss before it. Yes, any other queries from us? So tomorrow the link will be changing. You'll be getting a new link once you're done your enrollment process. You can check the payment things in the Zoom chat. Fine. Any other queries from your side, anyone? All the sessions will be interactive sessions. Any query, anything you can ask me directly by unmuting. You can just immediately, you can ask your queries through voice or you can type your queries in the chat panel. Right, and even a WhatsApp group for technical discussions. You get any error, right? Each and everything about the subscription, Azure subscription, everything uh, step by step, how we can create uh, Azure subscription for the two free subscription, right? How to go with the free subscription, everything I'll be discussing. Okay, fine. If there are no other queries, I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, right? Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, just a question, you know. Uh, I... Yeah, go ahead. Just give me a minute, okay? I'll... Yeah, any other questions from others? You can see we have got great demand for Azure Data Engineering. Even you can see the salary packages, the job description, right? Even if you see the salary packages, 1.5 times other than the other technologies. If you see compared with other technologies, 1.5 times more than the package will be that 1.5 times more than huge salary package. But at the same time, they'll be expecting the technical skills from your side. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, go ahead. yeah, you can go ahead. You can go ahead. Yeah, as you said, like, um, is it, uh, I mean, is it good to change, like, for the working professionals to Azure yeah. Data Engineering? Yeah, Azure Data Engineering, right? It yeah. has got a great demand today. That too, it's a high paying job. Even a career aspect, you right? It's a high end technology which has great demand in today's market and it's high paying job, career as per the career aspects. And that uh, it's trending technology in the market. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, your name is Vijay, right? Yeah, I'm Vijay. Yeah, Vijay. So sorry, okay, I, I was not able to uh, uh, concentrate for the entire session. So, um, I was just uh, was not available for the last half. So I just have few questions which I need to ask you. I yes. see. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the uh, the description for the entire course for Azure Data. Mm. So just wanted to understand, I'm from a non-technical background and looking to uh, you know, pursue in uh, engineering. So will it be easier for me to uh, grab all this knowledge and Moin, uh, yeah, Moin, a career Moin, in data? Yes, yes, Moinuddin, right? So here in this Azure Data Engineering, yes. uh, See, mm -hmm. one thing I'm not saying you people to learn the entire Azure Data Engineering. Uh, entire Azure Data Engineering is a better choice. Azure okay. Data Factory is there. The first component, what I'm okay. doing, Azure Data Factory is there. After updating right. Azure Data Factory, you can go for jobs. You will get jobs in Azure Data Factory. In that, uh, zero coding is involved, Azure Data Factory. All right. No coding, zero coding, everything drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. Just like uh, in... Uh, you see, if you've got knowledge, as you said, you doesn't have knowledge on these technicals. It's just like in uh, paint, how you will drag and uh, use this conference. In the same way, here we'll be dragging the things and we'll be using okay. it. No coding is involved. No prerequisites for Azure Data Factory. 
once you update with All it right. you go with it later still if you want uh, some high end means if you want uh, higher packages if you go forward to the azure data bricks right azure data bricks some uh, prerequisites like python is required mm -hmm. so that uh, i'll be if you can update or otherwise i'll be giving the syntaxes that's fine but uh, people from saying me to, zero, uh, zero programming knowledge i recommend you people to go with uh, means some uh, adf is there with zero coding you can update with it and you can see as a initially if you want to enter into company as azure data factory adf developer you can go azure data bricks developer you can go or azure data engineer you can go all right okay. so, the, so the first first step would be azure data factory yes. and once i am able to uh complete or no. get the certificate you can try with the you can try with those uh, azure data true. factory and you keep on if you can let you can keep updating with the other things also azure data bricks and this azure synapse right. right. so yeah better upon okay. better tracks you can have got a lot of tracks so people uh, for, right. so, already uh, from data engineering side so right people from big data environment or uh, environment spark environment will be yeah. updated with this also if you have got uh, directly, you have got okay. knowledge on this, you can go with this. Totally in the cloud, you don't okay. have to maintain anything. Doesn't require any infrastructure, anything directly in the, through the cloud. I'll show you step by step how to go with this uh, installation process, subscriptions, those things, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any right. Uh, yes. Yeah. So keeping everybody in mind, right? The sessions will go, right? People who are from non zero knowledge and people who have got higher knowledge everything right keeping everybody in mind so everything 100 percent you'll be understanding what i'll be discussing only All thing right. regular uh, practice regular practice is required asking right. whatever query you have got whether it's a simple query or a simple query or it is silly query right anything you can ask uh, everything i'll be giving multiple examples agreed uh just one thing uh this uh, data factory would be including uh, certification so that's what I was thinking, right? I am discussing nearly 50 practical exercises in this data factory. With that, you will get the okay. total knowledge on this. All right. All right. I think that's all from mine, I guess. Okay. Fine. Yep. Fine. Okay. So, fine. Any other queries? Pavani was asking if she left. Okay. So get enrolled tomorrow if I were getting the uh, link for tomorrow's class. Fine. I'm done with your queries. So I'm signing off for now. Meet you tomorrow, right? Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Good luck.